in TBK. Peron Senta, you cannot even fix it on one portion. We are established with that law. We have central mass. And of course, we need directional map, horizontal and peripheral. Um, central may change. No? Left to right, up and up, up and down. So this is a more technical way to find out where this happens. Looking at it in your TV with uh, um, an, an instrument here, okay? so you get more, to see more of a um, zoom scanning. So basically, you can just ask your patient to lie down on your bed and just look on top of the bed and look your fingers on the ID, look it up, and you can actually see the patient has So you don't really have to have that. Um, TV and MP, okay? So what is the usual step in diagnosing vertigo? First, sadly, the population is experiencing vertigo, which means feeling of speedy and not just dizziness. Establish whether the vertigo are continuous or occur in re recurrent episodes. Establish if the vertigo occurs in response to distinct head movements. A certain a complete patient history and perform a thorough general and neurologic examination. As you can see, don't even have to have a CT scan and everything to find out what's the cause of dizziness or vertigo in your patient. Okay? So that's one identified cause. When you have acute spontaneous vertigo, you check for a viral infection, patients who might have stroke, otitis media, head trauma, and safety. Again, think of when you have moderate imbalance, and you have unilateral sagos, and you have hearing problem. Most of the time, you may have hair problems like otitis media, viral amenitis, or other diseases in terms of the ear. But when you do not have a normal a hearing problem, but you have unidirectional sadness, okay, most likely the patient would feel better after two hours you have the severe urinitis. But when you have severe dizziness, okay, you have different changing uh, locations of your sadness, you have focal neurologic findings, most probably we have central cause, okay? And we have to perform a DNA and MRI scan and we see my mind. How about if you have recurrent episodes sensitive to head position, okay? As you know, when you have recurrent episodes sensitive to head position, you most likely have benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, especially if you do not have infections or head trauma. The, 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 even just the history of dizziness with head movement, head movement, most likely your patient has BPD. The only time you will think of performing an MRI is when you have problems with your miscavus, when they're not only horizontal, but they're both horizontal and vertical. And then you have to do your MRI to find out if there could be tumors. Even acoustic neuroma is possible in cases like that. Now, when you have recurrent episodes and it's not sensitive to head movement, would it do that, no? Take the uh, age of the patient, okay? Uh, if there is a, how long it occurs, symptoms, again, neurologic symptoms, migraine, and you find out most of the time our problem is more of stenia, okay? Recurrent on and off, you know, with no insensitivity to head movement. Most of the time it's stenia, okay? Um, the cerebral vascular insufficiency. You could take a look of the disease when your patient has hearing loss, okay? But when there are no other symptoms, most likely it could be migraine or just simply your people vascular So in terms of uh, recurrent episodes and insensitivity to that movement, we think of possible vascular problems. Okay? So the recurrent management options, okay, 
this. Important is number one, you have to know what's really the cause of your vertigo. Ang pinaka-importante na is is it peripheral or central? If you have ruled out central, you can give any of your medications that you like for this okay? Because if it's central and it's tumor, that is what you should be uh, wary of when you're not able to diagnose it. Okay? So treat the underlying cause in your pharmacotherapy. The particle repositioning procedure, this is what we call the vestibular exercises or what we call as active maneuver.